So I'm here to talk about uh, Siwa, short for Sign In with Apple. Apple now will require most new apps and app updates to use Sign In with Apple by April of this year. This authentication is required as an option for users in apps that support third-party sign-in. Sign-in with Apple offers several benefits for Apple users, such as users can enjoy a frictionless sign-in experience with Touch ID, Face ID to access third-party apps, and hide the user's real email addresses behind a temporary one that Apple creates on a per-app basis. If you are familiar with the OIDC authorization code uh, flow, the same flow is used here with the slight modification. So how to build Siwa? To start on your Apple developer dashboard, uh, all you need is to register your domain name and verify it with Apple in uh, the More section of this portal by clicking Configure. Add your domain and click Register. In the identifier section, create a new identifier and choose app IDs. If you already have an app ID, choose the edit it instead. Enable the sign in with Apple. You will most likely want to use the enable as primary uh, app ID option. Save your app ID changes. Next, uh, in the identifier uh, section, create a new identifier and this time choose service IDs. Finally, add one or more callback URLs. Any redirect uh, URI you use later must be registered here exactly as you use it. Make sure you include the HTTP colon uh, slash slash or HTTPS colon slash slash in the URL when you enter it. Create a key for your services ID. Click configure beside sign in with Apple. Next, you will only have one chance to download the key you uh, just re uh, generated. Click download. Keep the key in a safe uh, place because you will use it as the P8 file content. Now, how to implement user authentication with Siwa? You will need the authentication services framework to provide users an interface to set up uh, accounts and sign in uh, with their Apple ID. And here's a simple button that triggers sign in with Apple. Uh, sh you know, you get two options here. Share my email, which is the default behavior for most uh, social identity uh, providers. And the other one, hide my email, which uh, shares unique randomly uh, created email addresses that act as a firewall for users' real email addresses. So uh, this is a sample of proxy email that Apple sends to the app or website developer during the account setup and sign-in process. Now, uh, to position the button correctly in a stack layout, developers should place the sign in with Apple button above the other buttons. That's what Apple says. <laughs> now, uh, who's supporting sign in with Apple? Uh, adoption last year was a bit slow. However, big companies have provided support for sign in with Apple as early as this year. Now, start reading the docs. Here it is, the link. Now, give your users a sign-in option to avoid being tracked or profiled by companies that seek to profit from users' personal data. Uh, if you have any questions about sign-in with Apple, please don't hesitate to approach me later. Merci beaucoup.